Uh, thank you. So I'm going to talk to you today about some um, architectural changes around uh, reliability uh, of SSDs that we think can benefit data intensive uh, uh, systems. Uh, this is uh, part of a larger work that we're doing to make SSD more configurable and eventually programmable. Uh, this is a joint work between Hanyang University, South Korea, uh, IT University of Copenhagen, and the University of Freiburg. So we take <clears throat> ECC for granted in SSDs, but in fact is uh, one of the most important components. Uh, when we're reading something from an SSD, we're actually reading something from the flash arrays which are the units that actually store the data in an SSD. And uh, it's a known fact that um, flash arrays are very unreliable. So if you read directly from them, you're gonna get one bit flip roughly at every 10K that you read. Obviously this is not acceptable. And uh, these devices come with very, very heavy error correction uh, routines in it that actually bring the uh, uh, error rate to uh, an acceptable uh, amount. Um, still, uh, you could have a bit flips coming from SSDs. So commercial products uh, more often than not implement some sort of uh, reliability uh, on top of that. And um, the way uh, the, the devices implement uh, reliability is they calculate some parity over the data and they start it on the side uh, of the data. And the important factor in here is that a parity is calculated over a block that's determined by the device. Um, there's a bunch of side effects of the choice of this block, like latency, uh, energy consumption, and a, a bunch of other factors are directly related to ACC, much less than they are related to uh, physical characteristics of NAND flash. And we take issue with the fact that when you buy an SSD, ACC is written in stone. And we think there are different cases where we could tweak a little bit with ACC and gain a bunch of advantages. I'm going to talk to you very briefly about two of these cases. Uh, one we call FAR, and we call it FAR because in this particular case, the data is going to be operated very, very far away from uh, the NAND arrays where, where it is stored. And examples of this is uh, databases with uh, fault tolerance capacity or a code storage service in which uh, you're going to use, uh, you're going to scatter uh, data across several SSDs to account for the fact that some of them may not be available. And what happens is the application in this case builds a layer of uh, erasure coding, uh, usually replication or erasure coding on top of it. And what the application actually reads is the results of both of these combined processes, the ECC that's happening inside the SSD uh, and the uh, uh, element, for instance, that's happening at, at the application level. And there are a lot of efficiency issues. I'm gonna mention one very quickly, is the page sizes between uh, read Salomon, for instance, and an SSD error correction algorithm are completely different, which makes for the device being operating uh, on a very fine granularity. Another case that we see as well, we call the near case, kind of the opposite. So how closer to the flash could we process data? Um, examples of this is if we push predicates, aggregations, joints, things like that in, onto the device. Um, we cannot do that very deeply on the device because we cannot touch data that's not uh, corrected. And because the page size is fixed, um, in some cases uh, 16K, we think that the page in this case uh, is too big for what we want to do. So I showed you two cases where uh, the page uh, in one case is too small, the page in another case is too big. What do we plan to do about it is we want a configurable uh, uh, SSDs with configurable SSDs. And we're mainly targeting two, uh, two features. One of them is uh, ECC should be negotiated, right? The device uh, could be capable of doing ECC in different page uh, sizes and with different strengths. And the application should be able to choose it and to choose it even on a workload basis, not for the entire device. The second feature is we want a transparency. So if there's uh, some uh, uh, data uh, correctness process running on top of the SSD, it should be informed to the SSD, meaning this block contains data, this block contains parity, and we can do a bunch of uh, optimizations on the device if we have this information, and the other way around as well. Um, and we expect as benefits uh, 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 better latency, uh, certainly better resource utilization in terms of higher throughput, uh, better energy, and, um, and things like that. Um, with that, I thank you for your attention.